right, I'm going to look at reverse factoring here or using the zeros of an equation, of the graph of an equation, to write the equation in factor form. All right, so I have an equation graph right here, but I can't tell what the equation is. I've got it hidden here for you. But I can observe the x-intercepts or the zeros. So this first equation has negative 7 and 3 as its two zeros. The x-intercepts are at negative 7, 0, and 3, 0. So the zeros are at x equals negative 7 and x equals 3. Now, if I'm going to use these zeros to find the factors, then I want to get these little equations here equal to zero. So if I start with the first one, x is equal to negative 7. If I add 7 to both sides, if I add 7 on both sides, I will get zero on the right-hand side. So I get x plus 7 equals 0. That's going to be one of my factors. I'm going to do the same thing for the other equation. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And if I subtract 3 from the other side, we'll get 0. We're trying to get it equal to 0. So we'll have our factors as x plus 7 times x minus 3. So in factored form, the two factors in this equation are x plus 7 and x minus 3. If I graph those two factors, I can even put y equals in front. I'll have y equals x minus 7 times y equals x minus, uh, I'm sorry, plus 7. I mistyped that value there. And I can see that this graph shows up right on top of the previous one, so I know that I have it correct. All right. Taking a look at the next example. I'm going to turn off equation one and look at equation two. This is another one that I want to solve by factoring, reverse factor. So I'm going to look for the zeros. And if I click on those, they are at negative 0.333 and 2.5. Unfortunately, I'm going to use this technique the zeros that I have here have to be in their exact form. They cannot be in decimal form. So I have to figure out what the fraction that corresponds with 0 0.333 is. I can't just take that value, sorry, I can't just take that value and make it into a fraction because this has been rounded. And if I put on a whole bunch of threes, it's not going to let me get the exact form here. I have to be able to recognize it. With enough practice and experience with fractions, I may recognize that as the fraction one third, so negative 0 0.33333 will be negative one third. So that just is a little bit of experience and knowledge on this case. So my zeros, the first one is x equals negative one third, and the second one, 2.5. Uh, since that one's not repeating, I can turn it into a fraction and I'll get five halves. Or you could do two and a half, but it needs to be converted from a mixed number into an improper fraction. All right. Now we're looking for those factors. So we're going to try to get these equations equal to zero. The first thing I will do is multiply both sides by three. So if I multiply by three, on both sides, the three times the one third, those threes are going to cancel and leave me with a one, and then I'll have the three x. Similarly, in the other one, I'm going to multiply by two so that I get the two out of the denominator and moved to the other side. So I'll have two x equals five. So I get rid of the denominator first, and then we're going to add or subtract our terms to the other side to get our factors. All right, so in the case of the first one, uh, that 3x equals negative 1. To get rid of this negative 1, I want to add 1 to both sides. That's going to make a 0. That was my goal. 
making this equal to zero. And the other one will subtract five from both sides and that will get equal to zero. Okay, so I have those two factors. So I can write my equation with those two factors, y equals uh, 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 5. And as you see, I have the correct solution because my graph lines up exactly on the graph I was trying to write the equation for. All right. In the case of my third graph down here, all right, so there's my graph. I want to write its equation. I'm going to start this one the same way with factors from the zeros 5 and 8. These zeros are the x intercepts. They are at 5 and 8. So my zeros are x equals 5 and x equals 8. Subtracting the 5 will give me x minus 5 equals 0. And subtracting 8 will give me x minus 8 equals 0. Trying to move this value on the other side, it's positive, so I'm going to subtract it over. Same thing over here, subtracting the 8 over. Okay. So we have factors. Now, if I go ahead and write those factors, y equals x minus 5 times x minus 8, my equation doesn't look the same right now. That's because there is an a value that I do not yet know. There's a coefficient I need to solve for. So we're going to try to solve for that a value. So I know that my equation is currently y equals some number a times x minus 5 times the x minus 8. I can take any other ordered pair on this graph such as the y-intercept or this point at uh, 2, negative 6, any point on the graph. The y-intercept is convenient if it's a whole number and it's not. So, uh -oh. so we're going to want to have a point right on this graph, like 2, negative 6, so that it has whole numbered values. So I'm going to use 2, negative 6. Another point I might have been able to use is the vertex, not whole numbers, so I'm going to stick with that point to negative six. Any point that's on this graph will be able to be used to solve for a. So I'm going to take my equation. I'm going to plug in the negative six for the y value, and we're going to plug in two for our x values, plugging in two from a negative six. So if we solve this, Let's see, that's going to be a times 2 minus 5 is negative 3, and 2 minus 8 is going to be negative 6. So negative 6 equals a times 18, or I could write this as 18a equals negative 6. Then to solve this, I want to divide both sides by 18. So uh, negative 6 divided by 18, which reduces to the fraction negative 1 third, is going to be our a value. So my a value is negative 1 third in this case. Just dividing both sides with 18 is what got me that number, right? I divided my negative 6 from my 18, dividing this over to the other side. Got my 1 third, negative 1 third. So when I go back up to my equation here, this a value is negative 1 third. And now this equation perfectly matches up. I have not just written it in factored form, but I've written it in factored form with a correct coefficient. I hope those three examples were helpful. We're looking again at reverse factoring or using the zeros to write an equation in factored form. Thank you.